Hello everyone and welcome back to Milo Farms. Well today is Labor Day and we are just finishing up with some of the final things for the bees. We've got the final uh, boxes in the freezer here to kill off any sort of critters that might be left in them after extracting the honey and before storage. Um, just in case there's any sort of uh, other bugs, earwigs, ants, things like that that might have gotten in there. Um, some people also do it for wax moths, which I'm honestly not 100% sure if that's even an issue in our area. But it works well to kill off the earwigs and stuff that got into the boxes and just kind of kill off anything that might be left in there. So we run them through the freezer for a couple days each and then stack them up, cover them, plug all the holes, and then they'll be ready for next spring. And then lastly with the bees, we're going to do two treatments of Apigard. And then we will do some feedings to get all of them up to the weight that we want for the winter. And one more treatment of oxalic acid right there uh, after Thanksgiving and the bees will be done for the year. So coming up now that we are just about done with the bees, at least the major projects for the bees, it's time to start getting ready for fall and winter. So in the back there you can see we've got Halloween decorations. Those need to be put up. I'm going to start on that this weekend. Got a few things um, with our front yard remodel we're going to have to do differently than normal on those decorations. So we'll start working on that. But before we can get the decorations out, we have all these sleds right in front. So we've got right here the two phasers that we've done many videos about. And then we also have the RX-1 in the back right and the Mountain Max 700 in the back left. So we're going to have to get all these sleds out, uh, put them on the other side of the shop and start prepping them for winter. Um, to get these phasers out, we're going to use these carbide savers that are in the front here, as well as the RX-1. And then for the Mountain Max, we'll just have to use standard dollies for it, since the carbide savers do not fit. But coming up in the next few months, there will be some preseason videos for each one of these sleds. So we're going to do a chain case lube change on all of them. We may, depending on how time allows, replace the lower uh, chain case bearing in the Mountain Max 700, depending on if time allows for that. And then we're going to have oil changes and lubes for the three uh, four strokes. And then we'll also do some uh, uh, chassis lubrication uh, for each one of them, maybe do a video about that. So hopefully we've got a few more videos coming up this fall for the snowmobiles before winter. And we've got lots of trips planned this winter with those. So hope everybody enjoyed the quick update. We'll see you next time at Mila Farms. Remember, you can't finish a project without getting started.